In this example, I'm going to show you how to use Sigma Excel version 6.1 to create run charts. The example I'm showing you today is taken from page 106 of the Sigma Excel version 6.1 workbook. Now, for this example, we're going to be using the customer data dataset, which is included in the sample data directory within your Sigma Excel folder. So, to create a run chart, you can do so in one of two ways. You can either use the run chart template or you can use the run chart tool within Sigma Excel. So to access the basic run chart template, make sure the Sigma Excel tab is selected. And all you have to do is select templates and calculators, basic graphical templates, and select run chart. So this is an easy way to input your X axis label and your data. Click on run chart and a run chart will be produced. Uh, now to use the run chart tool, all you have to do is select Sigma Excel, click on graphical tools, and then click on run chart. Now make sure for this example, use entire data table is selected and then click next. Now in this example, we are going to be using overall satisfaction as our numeric data variable Y. So select that and also click on show mean. Now for this example, uncheck non-parametric runs test and then click OK. And you'll see that a run chart of overall satisfaction with a mean center line is produced. Now we can also edit our y-axis. Now to do this, all you have to do is double click on the y-axis and for this example, we are going to make a few changes. We are going to set our minimum to 1, our maximum to 5, our major unit is going to be 0 0.5, and our minor unit is going to be 0 0.1. Now we're also going to select the horizontal axis to cross at 1. And once you've made those changes, you can click close. And if you go back to the run chart, you'll see that the changes to the y-axis have been made. As well, what you can do, if you want to see the value of any given point, all you have to do is simply move your cursor over it. And you'll see the value uh, at the bottom part of the box there. As well, you can also add a data label to any data point simply by clicking on it, then right-clicking on it, then clicking Add Data Label. There you'll see the values displayed. And if you want, you can even change that number to text. Simply click on it twice, and you can type in whatever, whatever indicator you'd like.